Welcome back to Autofun, Alex the car guy here and today I'm installing the driver side oil separator on this Shelby GT350. I placed a link in the description if you like to order one. The separator will be mounted right behind the air filter. It will be secured by these three points, one is the stud, then a retainer here and another retainer here. The kit comes with two retainers, a large one goes here and the small one goes here. According to the instruction, the small retainer requires the fabric to be trimmed around this area so the separator can be flush to the body allowing the retainer to lock in place. Using a pen, I mark off the area that will need trimming. I then use scissors to cut out this section. And then using a brand new blade, I gently remove this square. Hmm, that looks pretty good. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, nice. Right on the money. Now it's time to remove this line. It is locked in place by these two grey clips. Pulling on the clips and pulling up releases the line. Here's a close-up of the clips. To reach the first one, I use a flat screwdriver to push on the clip and pull up, then I release this clip and pull off entirely. Time to install the new line into the separator by simply pushing it in, and then I connect the other side in the same way, just pushing it in. There we go, nice and solid. All right, let's install this clip. Okay, come on, ah, great. Still too short even after trimming the fabric. Thanks for this useless clip, Ford. Pfft. Well, no big deal. I can use a cheap retainer from the auto parts store to lock this baby in. The 10 millimeter nut is next. I'm careful not to over tighten this to avoid deforming anything. Now the retainer in the rear is inserted. Okay, goes into his little hole, here we go. Now push to lock, and there it is. The last vacuum line is installed first into the separator, then on the engine. Now all I have to do is push to lock here, and here. Check this out, this thing looks so awesome, very beefy. I do wish Ford had included a longer retainer so I could have saved time by not trimming the fabric, but I actually like the way it sits flush against the body. This bad boy is not going anywhere. If you are already running the passenger side separator, this really completes the look. Well, that's it for this one. I got more Shelby videos coming up guys, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching.